hockey arena? Why hockey arena? It's the only place in... Uh... Oh, there's not a church here? There is a church, it's really small. This is the fourth wedding this year in the arena. I know it's weird. And you've worked them all. Yeah. So this is work. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's not my only job. Hey! And Scotty, married and buried. Yeah! And this wedding is so rock and fuck and roll, man. Yeah! I was invited to this one. Really? I had no idea. Yeah. You chose me. But, you know, I had to work it. So you'd give it all up for work? I don't want to look at it like that. I mean, I don't have to, but I got to make money. There you go. And that's all part of the plan, right? Yeah, the plan. There's so many oh. things I wanted to say in this speech. First of all, to my bride, Jan, you look so super hot tonight, baby. You're too good for me. That's for sure. Is it hard to do this job in a wheelchair? Oh, no. No, I mean, I'm on wheels. Note to self, bell on wheels. Hell on wheels? I like it. Do you? Yeah. OK, listen, tell me about the plan. The plan? And so, Jan, it would be my greatest pleasure if you would dance our first dance to my voice. practice for this moment forever. I gotta make as much money as I can in one year to pay for college. So this is the plan. This is the plan. I'm doing it all on my own. No help, no handouts. That's my goal. Good to have goals. Incredible. All I'm saying is, you know you're going to the woods, you bring a compass. Are you sure this is East? Anyways, I was doing some creative consulting on a TBS vehicle, and I was talking to Jack Wagner, and he said something that really hit me here. He says it's not what your audience sees in the theater, or on the TV, or in the airplane. It's what its creators and its contributors see before the first frame is even shot, and that hit home. Now, I had just finished my last movie, Am I Gonna See God, Mommy? and I was looking for a new project to do, and I'd read about Terry and his situation. And my dad and I flew up here to Southern Valley, and I met with Terry and his friends and his family, and it's then that I saw what really existed here, just existence. Bottom line, it was a sacrifice. I mean, you know, I have friends and I have family, but I'm here, you know, I'm here. And I think that a little piece of me is gonna stay here in Southern Valley, maybe, and I don't really mind that, you know? Sure, I had my reservations. I thought that I'd get here and I'd be a hated man. I thought that everyone would see this big, successful filmmaker guy. No one would be able to see over the jaw complex. But I was wrong. It started out rough, but where else would I rather be? Documenting someone who's challenged, adding more challenges to their life? Forget about it. Rosenthal. Yeah, no, I got it. I got it on. 
I can see myself in the television, but I don't know how to, uh, I don't know how to make it work. Uh, I don't, what, what do you want me to say? Check out his shoes. They're two sizes too big for his feet. The shoes. The shoes. You know my shoes are not two sizes too big for my feet. Feel them. No Feel my feet. No, thank you. My toes are right at the end. Listen, Gaylord, these guys are here for you, not me, so lay off. Gaylord is. Gaylord. Gaylord? Yes. Yeah. All right, easy, big guy. Easy, tiger. This is one of those occasions where it takes two people who would normally take one. Yeah, it takes two of us. Yeah, but have you ever... Have you ever just sat at the line and just rolled the ball down the lane? So you guys do this every Tuesday? Yeah, this is where everybody comes on a Tuesday night. Yeah, pretty much the whole town could roll through here on a Tuesday night. Can I get a grapefruit juice here, please? Woo! What's up, ladies? Rodney! Your mother. That's nice, Terry. Just pick up another ball. Keep it going. My brother. Rosenthal? That's a heave name, isn't it? If you were to roll another 300 game, I could raise the financing. I remember after the accident, I, uh, I bet Vinny here that uh, my brother was going to be a retard. Remember I bet you 50 bucks, Vinny, that my brother's going to be a retard? <sighs> could have used that 50 bucks. You guys partners? You, you, and, uh, you and Vinny? You guys partners? Excuse me? You guys bowling partners? Yeah, we're bowling partners. What was... Yeah. Stacy, let me uh let me get a good carry story story from you. Something something embarrassing? No, not embarrassing. There's one story. I can tell you. Um well I got sent home from school uh for taking a dump in the urinal. And uh I remember I'll never forget it when I walked in the door. My brother was there laying on the couch. Finger in the cat. For real. Seriously. He was finger in the let what? Me, let me, give, me a, give me a real poignant story about Terry. Something before the accident. Something that really sort of told a couple of person. You're so gay, right. man. Okay. All right. Uh, one time after a game, me and um, my brother were uh, leaving the arena. And uh, as we were coming out the back, we saw this. Uh, um, Body, cut it. Like I said, just something about Terry before. What was, you know, what's your memory of Terry before the accident? I don't know. He's fucking one of the best hockey players I ever seen in my life. You know, he just went on the ice. He skated like fucking like nobody. And then after the accident, things changed. You know, in that <laughs> arena, they had like a shrine. Like, I mean, all his trophies, his plaques, everything. And then after the accident, he, I don't know, man, he couldn't bear to look at that shit, you know? He, so he, all that shit came down, and they're in boxes somewhere. I don't know where they are. Who but... took him down? <sighs> hey, brother. He skated like that guy. What's his name from the Kings? Vinny, you know his name? That guy uh, from the Kings. He skated real fast. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter, just keep going. No, no, what's his name? No, it doesn't matter, it's okay. It's right on the tip of my head. It doesn't make a difference, let's just move on. Hey! Fuck away from me! 
from him. That felt like a joke. Terry, you've known me long hey. enough. You know I'd never. Hey, look what you brought over here now. Ass face. Did you just man. fucking jolt my brother? Stacy, I didn't jolt him. You just didn't jolt him. It was slippery. I'm lame. standing right over there. I, I see it. Well, you can't handle being beat by a cripple on live television? Makes me sick. <laughs> we gotta go Why do you hang out with these fucking losers, man? I'm not a loser. Fucking right, you are, man. Tell your daddy you can get back his fucking vest. Come on. Why don't you and your buddies get out of here? We're having a good time. Why don't you get the fuck out of here before oh, I knock your teeth down your throat? We're, we're having a good game here. You're good. Yeah, fine. Shut right. up and get out of here before you get hurt. I don't want to go. USA! USA! Come on, man. Grab the blue ball. It's a lucky one. It always works for me. Let's go. Let's go. You ready? You ready? Woo! Woo! Come on. You can do this. Hogstown. Let's rock. Who's coming? Come on. You're not mad at me. Come on. Look. You rip your diaper. Let's go. You smell like hockey equipment. Jesus Christ. Let's get out of here. Oh, no? You get a flat? That's funny. I don't give a shit what anybody thinks. I'm not gonna push your greasy ass around. At least I gotta make it entertaining. School. That's the only one in town. We could go and uh, Trevor Lambert comes up to me. Hey, hey, hey. hey. Trevor Lambert comes up to me and uh, he's all over me telling me that I was pinching his wife's ass down to Alvarez. We went down this road right here, we hit the arena. Where? Hey, can we get in there? Rodney, can we get the keys? I can't do that. That would be a betrayal of trust. Hey, there's the key club. That's where Rodney uh, pisses away his tax return every year on toothless whores. Is that a fact? Is that a fact? Bird on you. I'm registered as an incorporated company and I build your roots. I call it fun. The guy with a lazy eye. A potato, boys. Hey. They got me in the air. I'm, I'm, I'm not. No. No, I feel as though I'm giving this my heart and, and, and every inch of my... Yes, of course I feel as though I'm alone. Nope, I don't feel as though this is an exercise. I, I, I can see how you say something like that, but I don't think that it's in me to equate this with my father. No, no, I'm not faulting myself. I don't think I'm faulting myself. Do you feel as though I'm faulting myself? Well, is there some sort of prescription that I can get for that? Well, is there something that you can fax me? Son of Jehovah, I'm gonna tear the cock off this thing! Come on, let's dance! All right, show me your tape. I don't usually hang out here. All right, listen, champ, we gotta have a high level here, okay? He's done Totally honest with you, oh my God. I've got nothing. I've got nothing, and I'm nervous. Nothing? What do you need? Like, nothing of what? Oh, I've got something of your brother. I've got something of Stacy. I need more from you. I need you to get out of that chair, Terry. Listen, I did not give up a shot at a Fox pilot to come up here and tell the story about a guy in a wheelchair. I came to tell the story of a guy in a wheelchair who lives this life out of a wheelchair. Now, I've been nothing but upfront with you from the very beginning, correct? And I think we've grown closer from the whole experience, right? Yeah. Like college roommates, right? But you mean? God damn it, Terry. I'm being serious. You know how I work. You know how I get things done. I'm a tyrant. And I'm a teddy bear. You know what? From here on in, no more movie. Show the cameras, please. Show the lights. You can't make a movie without the lights. I'm making light here. 
Are you ready to make life with me? I don't know what you're talking about. What do you mean? Make life. Make life. Make life. Make life. Director. Thank you. That was beautiful. Don't touch me. So what, you're going to fall in the bathroom now? You know who people tell me I look like? You ever see the Jimi Hendrix experience? You know Hendrix. Well, there's this footage of him at Monterey, the Monterey Pop Festival. The drummer, Mitch Mitchell, he's my twin. This is a sweet close up man, you could swear it was me. Tell me about Terry. Well, why don't I tell you a little bit about myself first? My name is Rodney Berga, 29 years old, supervising general production. <coughs> really happens when I'm nervous or upset. You nervous now? No, no, not at all. Not at all. I'm totally cool around you guys. Did Terry tell you I was his boss? No. Really? Wow. Yeah. Down at the arena, I, I, I'm Terry's boss. At work, I have to, you know, be this, you know, this, 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 uh, you know, bigger than thou figure where, you know, I have to, <laughs> at work I'm a superior, and outside of work, you know, we just hang out and we're buds. You know, we're, we're tight. We're like this. You and Terry always been friends? Um, no. Yeah, yeah, no. Not until a, you know, after after high school was over. You know, it was hard going, you know, growing up, you know, trying to... I don't know if he told you this, but I beat, I beat him up in fourth grade. <laughs> it's a story he doesn't like to admit. He likes to reverse it that he beat me up, but it's just simply not true. Why would I make up such a thing? <laughs> you know, so in high school, he had his jock friends and... His jock parties. You know, there wasn't any time for little old Rodney. You know, those guys used to pick on me so much in high school. But uh, someone's looking for a camera. It wasn't exactly easy being Rodney. You know what I mean? It was, you know. Are you this sure? Is for the yeah, just anybody. Man, I can't stop you. Come on. Yeah. Good. This is gonna be great. It's fine. I'm inspired. Yeah. Go. I got bucked off a bull. It was probably the most exhilarating thing I've ever done. I wouldn't have done that, I don't think, if it wasn't for this, uh... I don't know if this camera's even for the film. Is this something he's gonna... You know what I love about Rosenthal? Is that, and I bet he's like this with a lot of the people he's worked with in the films he's done, is he thinks he knows you right off the bat. He's a, I think he's a really good, I think he's really good at what he does. I think he's, he keeps wanting me to be myself, but he doesn't really even know me. Yet. That could change. I think I trust Rosenthal. And I think I'm going to put as much into this film as I can. Because I think it's going to be fun. Terry, is it worth the money doing this? Hmm. Hey, Quinny, how you doing? Hey, Quinny! Hey, Terry, how goes the movie? I got bucked off a bull last night. What? You should see the bull. 
So that's how you got the shine. Queenie, I got a couple more angling questions for you. I'm gonna need about five more minutes. Go grab a danish from the trunk of the car. I'm gonna be with you then, okay? All right. Thanks. Hi, Terry. See you later. Can you count on this to make your college fees? No, but I have the job at the arena, too. So you got a job at a snack bar at an arena, and a job delivering papers, right? Yeah. Both are low paying, right? Yeah. So let's assume that you do get accepted into college. How are you gonna count on it to, to pay for your tuition? I've got a job interview Friday. It's a good opportunity. Well, sounds promising. And you know what someone once said about opportunity. What's that? It's what happens when preparation meets luck. Is that a fact? No. But somebody once did say that. I like that. But you know what? Let's go back and get that one paper. And uh, this time, I want you to launch it right when you say the word determination. Mm. I don't think I said determination. No, you did. You did. You will. 